What's going on everybody? Ever Egg Gaming Gear, another exciting episode for more of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD on the Nintendo Switch. So uh, last time because we just uh, go ahead and I uh, took some uh, few help uh, with uh, with Gondol just to go and start repairing uh, the name Scrap of a robot which uh, appear to be uh, functional and uh, co of course because uh, we do uh, like um, got here is the ability just to go ahead and uh, dowsing this uh, propeller so that we can start by searching just to go and find it. So why are we going to see according to the beacon what's in the meter? So we already know what's, uh, what's pointing. So um, if we go ahead and uh, pick up some stamina and uh, get some more speed. So um, it appeared just to, to me because uh, it was uh, somewhere down at Elder Volcano. It's, it's the bad where we're trying to go. So it, if that is where it's trying to take us, then so be it. Let's just go ahead and like uh, get right after the uh, propeller. The piece of propeller that which has already been fell to the, uh, the cloud sea. So um, what we can start by doing is go press on X. Just go on uh, and get full charge. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and waste uh, two of it. And then we can go ahead and take the dive. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? What? Okay, I didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I didn't do it right. Wow, well, that, that quite sucked. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so we're gonna call in Lothwin. Because um, that, was, um, that was on me, you guys. I mean. <laughs> I, I didn't um, expect to, to like uh like fall off in the cloud like that while I'm not even like seeing what's a circle from be from uh, below it. So uh, let's go and dive again. All right. So now since we got the dive, so uh, point to your uh, preferred uh, designated area with uh, the pointer and uh, confirm your destination by pressing A. That's true. Okay. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, wrap to. Okay, let's start off at the Volcano Ascent. Oh, actually, no, hold on. So, we need to go a bit more higher than that. So, now, if my calculation is correct, it's uh, somewhere where that uh, temple is. So, let's go ahead and uh, confirm yes. And uh, we can uh, go and uh, get right after by uh, finding the propeller. So, what we can start by doing is just to go ahead and follow the beacon. Oh, wait a minute. So, uh... It's we see what's down there because of it up a cobbling that's down there. Okay. So tracking down the propeller could be easy if you want to find. So if we go ahead and Okay, now I have to go ahead and take my my take my time to breathe. Uh this is the uh, windmill propeller you were searching for. It is uh, now possible to retrieve a visa using the robot who the services we have listed. Would you like me to call the robot? Yes, please. I do so call ro the robot. I will send word to the robot using the telepathic transmission master. Okay, you go do that. So, I uh, was mean because... Alright, well, Scrapper just uh, did heard the sound of a uh, five whistle. I hey, hope you weren't in the way line. So, uh, you want me to the cave? Hey, Master of Short Pants, uh, you're in my uh, way here. Zip, I say get out of the way. Zip. Hey, Scrapper, let's all be cool now. Don't, don't get ahead of yourself. I'll be uh, waiting for you up in the sky, so uh, don't take too long. Zip. Okay, well, I just uh, kind of like loving to just to go and uh, make uh, robot noises and it made me wonder why I'm just um, bringing it a, a, a bit more stronger than that. Just uh, to clear my voice deeper. Master, I suggested that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as, as soon as possible. Okay then. So, um, as we go and uh, continue moving up. Okay, can we make it? Can we make it? I bet we do make it. Okay, so we we'll run back to the uh, birth statue. So we're we're about to go and start making our return back to uh, the sky loft. So uh, let's go ahead and do it in the split in the cut. Oh wait a minute, never mind. I I just don't want to go ahead and uh, make my return right now. So in case you are seeing what uh, what's on my back because uh, Scrapper is still holding the uh, propeller piece uh, along with me. So uh, we're just a uh, guy in uh, guy a uh, uh, Scrapper towards me and now here we here you come with the uh, propeller piece. Yeah that the windmill propeller If you leave me uh feel free to the car. 
or a mistress of fire, I will I travel to any of your destinations. Whoa, isn't that the beat up uh, old robot from uh, Gondo's place? So it was. Wait just a second. Is that? Is it? That's the windmill of Piccolo that the thing uh, was uh, supposed to, to have fallen down below the cloud. Are you uh, saying that whole story I handed down to the Gondo family uh, was uh, actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling that this is uh, all some uh, elaborate uh, prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. Yeah, I believe you should. This uh, goes in here and I just uh, crank uh, that few clicks. Phew. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to run the fifth of propeller, but that was uh, quick and easy. That ought to do it. Uh, if you uh, can find uh, some way to the spin of a propeller, you can uh, probably uh, turn the windmill uh, around. Hey! Honey! Honey! Oh no, I think I might have promised that my wife I fist uh, our cupboard. I swear that woman's are always uh, looking for somebody. See you around, Link. Alright, so now that he's off with his wife, so we can uh, go back to uh, to switching to the guts of Belows. And same strategy since the uh, last video. So we just go ahead and like uh, bro blow the propeller. And as you can see, cause, uh, we just uh, go ahead and uh, reverse the, uh, the windmill. Where it's uh, turning left. Or, oh, wait a minute, I think it's turning right. Uh, okay, well, I get the feeling that the, uh, the windmill is just uh, turning right. Okay. So we're just uh, turning windmills around. So as uh, we get the, uh, the windmill to the start to drive out here. Yeah, that'll have to do. So I just want to make sure we just uh, time in on the, on the turn while, while we stop the windmill from moving. Okay, so as you can see. Uh, there's the uh, reflection mirror uh, in the uh, oh, oh, at the, uh, the top of the uh, plaza. So while we were at it, so let's just uh, go in and move on further. Okay, so we were supposed to go and move uh, above the, uh, the towers. That's uh, what we're trying to do. So uh, if we go ahead and uh, push our limit through. All right, so uh, we just go ahead and uh, get across the swimming water and uh, get off from that. All right, and uh, we'll get plenty more stamina in case we need to take take a breather. All right, and uh, here we go. So uh, we got some couple of these uh, ladders we can start by climbing. All right, come on. So uh, you can climb on ladders. You can you can uh, literally uh, leap up ladders. So come on. So uh, as we uh, take our way sky high while we're at it. So reading this uh, manuscript, so it says uh, let's uh, let's sound the goddess of song beneath the light that uh, radiates unto her chosen hero shall fall a fearsome ray of guidance. Okay, so it may be true. It may be. Okay, so here's what we do. So if we're looking what's on the ground, so I think we were supposed to pick up our instrument and go ahead and play a, a, a song. Okay, so that is what you were supposed to do. So uh, all you just gotta do is just uh, pick up your uh, goddess heart and then just go ahead and just uh, lie up that symbol that is uh, underneath the, um, the floor. Okay, so now we have to go back to playing a song. So we have to pick it fast and slow. Okay, I think we got them all. Beautiful, just beautiful. Yeah, it's weird how five mouths just uh, go ahead and um and like uh, move kind of weird. I mean, not entirely. Well, eventually he just uh, like go and shake his head and then just uh, go ahead and uh, open his mouth wide and then just go ahead and like um, play her um, her melody. Because I've added the part of the sound we listened to because uh, it was um a pretty good music. I'm never gonna lie. So we saw where the the light is uh, is connected to. Matter, there is a high uh, probability that this uh, beam of light that will lead us to the clue to the whereabouts of the uh, three flames. 
I recommend that you investigate the what lies at the end of this uh, beam of light. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a bit more of this investigation. So as we go ahead and call out the lost wind. So we'll go ahead and investigate the cause of what's uh, coming from um, from the midst of the cloud. Okay, so uh, as we go ahead and like uh, follow to where uh, the light beam is pointing at. So um, as we uh, get inside of this um, this mist, this uh, ginormous mist that looked like some barrier. Cause it's a just it's a ginormous cloud, and uh, yeah, we got here. There's a couple of these uh, tornadoes because you know what? I think I flew over the uh, tornado um twice, and uh, somehow I just uh, go ahead and lose a couple of my hearts. So you just don't want to go any near the uh, tornado, and you don't want to go do that. So that will lead to uh, wasting all your hearts. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more speed if you, if you like. Okay, so we are getting halfway close, and we got here the thunderstorm. So uh, yeah. We got it's a little bit of rainbow on the other side of the platform and we got a couple of these enemies I couldn't tell what they're called so I can't have uh five go ahead and uh, examine it right now just to uh, to, to tell what this uh, enemy name is I can't go and target lock on that so I can barely go ahead and uh, fully charge with my lost win so that I can uh, go and uh, speed up a lot faster just to uh, avoid enemies so uh, I don't have any more charge anymore so I'm still waiting for for more of those uh, feathers to come out. Okay, so let's go and uh, take out uh, to the, the, the puzzle. Which uh, may look kind of hard to me. So I just, um, as I was uh, doing this, this um, kind of like this uh, rotation puzzle, because I just, it just took me like uh, 15 minutes to try to, um, to, to figure this out. Master Link, I have uh, memories of this place, this island. It is known as the uh, Isle of Song. The signs that indicate that but it was a left here for you by the goddess master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Okay, well, let's just do investigate the area. If we uh, see what this says, rotate the center of pedestal uh, to the complete vertebrae that allowed you to step to the great tower on the Isle of Song. Okay, now as we uh, see what we are, what we're seeing, because this here is a, is a pedestal right there. So as you go ahead and pick up the sword, so you can go right ahead and like um like get these things to on this to on the block, the edge. So um this is on um, some puzzle which is uh gets kinda uh, hard. So all you just gotta do is like get these things to stop moving. And uh let's see here. I get the feeling that's what we're trying to do. So uh, I think we gotta go to this center. And uh, move this. So you see, this this puzzle gets uh, kind of confusing to you guys. I mean, somehow this is a uh, quite a uh, hard, hard puzzle pattern. So uh, what we're gonna stop by doing is uh, move this. And you know, what? I think we can go and stop this row. Okay, so this get it to stop. And hold on. Now this. Wait, what? Hold on, I thought we stopped the other world. Okay, so we want to make it sure both things stop. So this is uh, kind of hard, so I'm just going to have to show you throughout this video because um, this may look like a tr tricky puzzle to me. So my suggestion is that that we had that thing up and then go pushing this so yeah well to, just to solve this puzzle or pattern because you just gotta like a flip the on the right pedestal okay so I think this one stops okay so we swing our sword to the, to the left and rotate this around Okay, so these are uh, two stones lower down. So I suggest that we go and keep those things moving. I mean, I don't know so much. Now I get the feeling that we were supposed to go and stop this row. If that's what we're trying to do. 
I mean, I don't know for sure if it's going to ever work. Okay, so let's see. If we uh point, we hit this switch and go move this around. And stop this. I should know. Hold on. Uh, I think it's up. Okay, I think we were supposed to stop. It's just right about there. So let's go back to pushing this. Yeah, these puzzles may seem to kind of trick you a little bit. So, uh, let's go ahead and switch this. Okay, so I see because, um, we're just uh, looking at this, uh, these stones, and that appears to lead to a block in. Okay, I think we're getting the hand of defense. Okay. That was not too bad. I'll give you credit. So, we want to have these stuff free, free in order, okay? In order to get the bridge. To uh, the last guy across by, okay? It took me like 15 minutes to try to, uh, to figure out this puzzle, which is uh, kind of gets uh, tricky. But um, it wasn't that too bad, actually. So uh, let's uh, go and get a move on. So uh, I'm going to go a lot faster to go get, get this roll. Alright, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, tuck underneath this uh, peep hole and uh, move down some. So uh, let's go ahead and take us to where this uh, Skyward symbol is. If you go and get the Skyward Strike. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh and glow the um what sort of it is light up. Okay, so if I go in and uh, light up the uh, the Skyward symbol of it. And of course because uh as you can see it's creepy because uh, you can see because the, the goddess statue mouth is just um it just moved and it, okay, well it's just a playing a song. Matt the link, I have uh, important information. When you are struck at a crest uh, with a Skyward Strike uh, from your sword, it matches from the goddess that awakened the deep within me my memory. But the goddess that intended this a measure for you, Master, for our, her work. He who seeks for the sacred flame, and listen well, for I guided you from my place uh, at the uh, edge of time. The sacred flame are, are free in number. To attain the vendor, you must uh, also earn the relics that known as the free sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, and you shall not be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the, of the power of my, these gifts, uh, and you will uh, find your way to the uh, purifying sacred flame. Now, I bestow unto you a melody. I will uh, serve you as a key to opening the, the first trial that awaits you deep in the uh, wild or foreign woods. Okay, here we go. So, we just have to go and listen to the song. Alright, there we go, Link. There we go. You just keep playing your song. Okay, now... Just uh, looking at this um, beautiful, glittery sky from above. That song is a uh, call of borrowed courage. It's the rousing the melody will guide you. Okay, so we learn borrowed courage. Okay, that um, that's brand new to us. Master, you must overcome the trials of step before you and uh, attain the uh, free uh, gift to the reach the separate flame. I have committed our uh, fire courage uh, to uh, memory. Uh, now you can uh, use uh, your thousand uh, ability to the search for the uh, gate and lead to the first uh, trial you must face. I suggest that you set out for uh, foreign words uh, as soon as you are ready. Okay, well, I was well prepared ready for everything. So let's go and uh, see what we got so far. Uh, all right, now we have another this uh, dowsing ability, which we can uh, go and track down. Okay, so um, moving under. Okay, hold on. So moving out underneath this um, peep hole. So uh, we already knew because this is some um, thunderstorm going on here because of all of this uh, rain 
Oh, okay, now, I think that this is where we go and, uh, and dive. So, uh, we can go press on down to call in the lost wind. And just go and, uh, get, all, get out of this, uh, weather. Because we realize that the enemies can, uh, go and attack us. So, uh, we can go ahead and get full speed on potential. Because I really love with the fact because, um, you can just go into, uh, every other, uh, world around here. In the, uh, in the, uh, in the above the sky. Just so that you go ahead and learn the, uh, the melody so that you can start by playing the song. Okay, it's interesting uh, just to see how Link go ahead and plays uh, harp and then suddenly we just uh, go ahead and um, learn the other uh, ways of uh, how to go and play beyond the far or courage. And uh, when we uh, get back to all the fine words, and then maybe one day we can uh, go and like uh, a lot the, uh, the symbol of the, uh, the crest so that we can start off by playing another of this uh, song while we get there. Okay, so, wait, wait, there's a tornado over there, so uh, I don't mind getting too close to that. I mean, we can fly super high in, uh, in case that we're not uh, encountering any uh, tornadoes around here. Okay, so I see there's uh, two tornadoes in, in the area. Okay, so uh, we go and uh, fly all around, everywhere we want to go. So, we can still keep on charging. Okay, because the, uh, the green light was that uh, close by. So we can clearly make it and stay. So wait a minute. So this one got a red ruby. So let's go and take it out of its, its hands. Alright, come on. Only I get the timing. Alright, there we go. So I got myself a 20 ruby. I'll take it. Alright, now uh, wait a minute. So we wanted to like to, to disturb this uh, bird around. So I'm trying to figure out where farm words is. Now let's look at this map. Where is that? Oh, wait a minute. It's underneath. Okay. Okay, so I just uh, go and press the, on the down button to the dive. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so we can go ahead and point whatever direction we want to go. So, I prefer that we start to where... To where that temple lies. Okay, hold on. It's, it's, can't be somewhere near the temple, so it gotta be somewhere. Gotta be somewhere at the viewing platform. So yeah, we can go ahead and descend that area. All right, so we'll go on uh, and land onto this uh, extraction point right over there. A hey, report, Magdalene. I had detected the uh, aura of the, uh, the crowd gate nearby. As you can uh, pinpoint the organ of this uh, aura using uh, Dalsen, I uh, conjecture of uh, the song that you learned uh, at the uh, Isle of Song, the far or the carpet that will reveal the, song, the gate. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and move down some. So, as we can see, because we got here, it's a couple of these uh, new bacoblins. So, as we go ahead and lock onto this, so hold on. So, it's uh, a blue bacoblin now. Okay. So, it's a dangerous from the. It's a dangerous form of a bacoblin. My analyzer suggested it, it is a many uh, times stronger than a red bacoblin. It's a skin and, and the clothing differ uh, due to its uh, healing uh, from a different environment, but it still uh, has the same uh, sensation uh, with uh, exotic undergarments. You will have to defeat uh, none of its enemy type. Okay, so uh, we, we did not defeat that many. So they had to drop like more, but not uh, a monster claw. Okay, so none of these are uh, cobbling drop any uh, monster claws. So we're still looking for the monster claws. So let's just uh, keep on attacking these other uh, cobblings in case they uh, drop some. Come on, they gotta drop like uh, like more materials on the ground. So wait a minute. This one got a horn. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so we're going for the feather blow. Okay, well, I, I don't see if they're going to drop any uh, monster cloth, which is uh, quite hard. I mean, I don't know if the game will allow me to, like, get down um, all of the, uh, the monster cloth in, uh, in Skyward Sword HD. I mean, it's, uh, it's quite obvious. Uh, let me go back to my butterfly now. So, let's go ahead and uh, douse on that. So, as you can see, we're finally here. And uh, we can go ahead and catch some of these butterflies if you like. So, we are not catch that many of them. So, you know what? Can we catch the other one? And you know what? We're done. We'll let that one live. And uh, we can go back with the harp. So, let's go ahead and uh, play instrument. 
Okay, so here we have it. So we fully uh, did like um aw awaken the uh, the seal. Okay, so now we have to go ahead and play this song. Okay, so are we are we doing okay? Oh, hold on. I see these pedals. Oh, pebbles and stuff. Okay, hold on. We're not doing okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's weird how the that the five mouth moves while the uh, sends. And she's like, I'm knocking her um her head left to right. Something here is uh, reacting to our performance of a uh, borrower cart. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate a 90% possibility that this uh, mark is a trial gate as uh, mentioned by the goddess statue we are heard of from on the Isle of Song. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark on the ground before you. Okay then. Well, let's uh, try it out. So we're going to ready our sword and then we'll go ahead and brush it in the ground. And what we saw was happening. So it go ahead and like... Uh, like, uh, we awaken another of this, uh, world type or whatsoever. So, it turned out to me because we just go ahead and press the, uh, the sword down so that we just go enter to a, a different, uh, dimension or that, um, that used to look like, uh, foreign words. Matt the link. At a spectre, I, I cannot def follow you into this realm before the uh, trials called out to your mind alone. This is the nature of places that are known as the uh, silent realm. So there are domains of the, uh, the spirit. Accessible only to the goddess of chosen hero. It's a particular uh, trial of the Lord of Silent Realm and test of the limits of your courage. Your spirit uh, has temporarily uh, separated uh, from your physical body so that you may undertake uh, this challenge. To reach the location of the flame of that will uh, enhance your sword, it is uh, necessary for you to overcome this uh, trial and undergo spiritual growth. Alright, so on uh, the power that we seek is the, uh, the spirit vessel. It's a mysterious plant that represents your spirit link. That's your uh, spirit vessel. When this uh, vessel is full, it will uh, signify that you have uh, successfully uh, completed the, uh, the trial, uh, allowing your spirit to grow. This is uh, this in turn that will allow for the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fulfill the, uh, the spirit vessel, you need to search it for something known as the uh, tier of power. There are many of them are spread across this uh, strange world. Master, do you see the, the glowing object just in front of you? That is a, a tier of power. You will need to collect 50 of them. However, this is uh, not as uh, simple a test uh, as it would seem. Your work is in this uh, realm is uh, referred to as a, a trial for good reason. If you are take even a single step outside of a protected circle you stand in the uh, gardens of this uh, realm will wake up and pursue you, master. If a guardian manages to uh, land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. Yeah, we really, we really don't want that. Do we link? You must have collected the cures that scatter throughout this area and fill the other spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Was my installation a clear master? Do you want me to explain again? No, ma'am. Understood, master. I will be eagerly awaiting your return in the outside world. May the goddess that watch over you, master. Okay, so as I just uh, step on something, so we just go ahead and uh, awaken the, um, the guardian. So let's go and get this uh, vessel quickly. Oh wait a minute, it's a cure of power. Okay, my bad. So this uh, object of power uh, holds the, uh, the movement of the, uh, the guardians for just 90 seconds. So let the all 15 can pass the try. Okay, so getting one of these. So uh, this is the uh, the life fruit. Uh, this uh, mysterious fruit enables you to, uh, to see uh, beacons all over the uh, position of a secret tier for 30 seconds. Oh, okay, so we were supposed to collect one of those uh, light tiers uh, whatsoever because they, they, can, uh, they can barely like uh, see where you want to go, so they only last by 30 seconds. 
So, what you need to uh, avoid is the, uh, the spotlight, that the thing that is uh, hovering from above. That is something that you need to watch out. Match the link. Okay, so what is this? So, that area is uh, covered in uh, water. The uh, unusual liquid uh, substance uh, that covers uh, the area is known as uh, waking water. And it has a certain unique pro property. Oh, okay, that is what I said. If you will make contact with awakened water, the guardians will be immediately alerted to your presence. Pools of awakened water are located all throughout the area. I suggest that you watch where you, where you step. Okay. Now, as you can see what's uh, on the other side. So, uh, that we uh, see what's uh, over there. So, this here is the, um, the dust relic. Which is a save. This item is a similar in uh, appearance uh, to an ember a relic, uh, yet they're very different. It can only be found in certain places. Yeah, that's uh, definitely true. So we did uh, collect only one. So there's uh, a lot more to come around, but just find more dust relics around here. So as we go ahead and finish up what we're doing. So um, hold on. How am I not doing so good at uh, making that jump? So we just want to hurry up. Yeah. So every 15 minutes that we waste much time, then the, uh, the, the, uh, the pebble is going to drain down and we have uh, failed the challenge. And we have to go do this all over again. So uh, we may not want that, so uh, we just want to make sure that we're collecting more of the um, the, the, uh, the tier of uh, far ore. And I can't go ahead and uh, and bomb that, so you can't go using I items uh, during the, the, uh, the trial because um, you, it doesn't even count that way because uh, you're not in the uh, in the real world state yet. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick up this uh, light or whatever you call it, uh, a light bud. Okay, that is the, um, the uh, Far War of Tear. Alright, so we got it's another one. So if we keep moving, so there are a couple of these are tears that we're still collecting. And there's one up there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, reach Sky High and try to go get that. Alright, so we got one of it. Alright, so I'm uh, moving on. Okay, so there's like a couple of these, um, these, uh, tiers of, uh, Faor around here. So as you just, um, look into where the, uh, the light is, uh, touching from the bottom. Because both lead to the, um, to the tier of Faor. So, uh, let's go ahead and keep on picking up everything. And what we saw in the distance. So, this is, this can be tricky. So, hold on. So, yeah, well, what we see already, because the water can, uh, come back. And then, uh, come back in. Or uh, come back out. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if I make it close there because the water just uh, go ahead and like a uh, spread. Okay, come on. Can we please go get that. So we're running out of time. Okay, so we want to go collect one of those. So those are pretty good use for material. So wait a minute. I see the light. Okay, so those were the things what we were supposed to avoid. Okay, so we got three more to find. So uh, let's just go and keep looking. So up there I saw because there's another of this uh, this tier of uh, far ore, which we can we can go and uh, and collect that. So let's go ahead and uh, pick up that. Okay, well I'm pretty sure that's called the uh, the light vessel or the uh, the light tier. I'm not quite sure if uh, my memory is not um it's not correct. My thoughts are around my head. So uh, we're just um, balancing the rope and uh, taking it a little bit more slowly but steady. Okay, so we got it's another tier. And uh, we go ahead and move down some. Okay, so there's another of this uh, dust relic which we're still collecting. Well, it's covered in purple so I don't see why that's dusty. Okay, so uh, let's see now. Can I go ahead and push this? Okay, so I can still go and move this log. And we see up there. Oh, wait a minute. Over there, I saw there's another of this uh, dust ballast. So how many are we collecting? Four? Okay, so now I'm running out of breath. Okay, so as we move upstairs, so uh, we got uh, it's our second one. So now we're looking for the last one. The last one I'm still trying to search. So, I don't see anything light up just yet. Okay, well, I see what's over there. I can probably see where the other uh, green light is showing. So, let's hope we are hurry this up. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and our beat sky high. Okay, so we got like more, but plenty more time before we on the pebble drain. Okay, because you see according to the uh, flower on top of the icon. Oh my god, what the heck? This is no good. Okay, well, that was on me, folks. That was on me. That was a mistake, but uh, nope, not today. We just got here at the last tier. Okay, you collected every last uh, tier of our four. A uh, lens of spirit has grown. The trial will continue until the U.S. of the uh, silent realm. Proceed with uh, caution on your way back to the entrance so that you can uh, claim proof of your uh, spiritual growth. All right, here we go. So we see what the other uh, blue light is uh, showing from the sky. So that could be our ticket way out of here. As long as we uh, don't go and uh, get spot and get killed, then uh, we should be halfway good. So uh, let's see now. So the waking water is go and the alert via the guardian. So that is something that we cannot do. So uh, we can barely go and and take our way back to the uh, to where the uh, the light is showing. That is our ticket way out. Okay, but I give this place a, a nine out of ten out of this. Okay, exploring the um the the you know, the, the spiritual realm is uh, not too bad. So we got here is the Water Dragon skill. So it's a secret that gift uh, left by the, the goddess that uh, grant you the power to explore underwater and uh, even as execute the spin mandible. All right. Well, well, okay. So as we got the uh, as we see here because we got us up the other uh, Water Dragon skill, which uh, allow us to go ahead and uh, and give up the ability to go and swim underneath. So now, as you can see, because there will be an elder behind us. Congratulations, Master Link. You have uh, passed this uh, trial. You uh, you now have the uh, power to proceed to the uh, location of the first and second plane and that will enhance your sword. The water dragon skill is uh, one of the, the goddess' uh, sacred gift. So the great spirit of the, the water dragon have uh, pro provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is uh, somewhere within these uh, woods, uh, Master. I must have concluded that this uh, flame is uh, likely in a, a part of this area you have not explored. Okay, then. So, uh, let's just uh, take the proper time at the moment just to go and uh, explore the place. So, we can go talk to the, uh, to Butcher. So, oh, uh, hello again. I see you have the water dragon skill bear. You. you. That's amazing. I heard of that if you uh, have one. You, you can uh, swim through the uh, water like a dragon sword up through the sky. Hmm. There must have been places here in the woods of, that you haven't visited yet. You, you should have used the water dragon skill to explore areas that you couldn't even get to before. You, oh, oh, ho ho ho. All right then. So I uh, thank you for telling me that, Butchard. I do appreciate it. The um, the excellent uh, guidance that you can uh, give me to want uh, to go and uh, use this opportunity to go swim underneath. But um, that will have to do. So uh, back to me. I'll let you guys. So next time on the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, we're gonna carry our wave um, further beneath the um, the underwater. So now since we have the ability to just swim underwater. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use it just to go ahead and explore underwater just to go ahead and like um take the uh, time at the moment just to, to see just to experience the uh, proper moment just to go and get used to with some new basic on how to swim underwater. So we're gonna have a little bit of a lot of fun with it. So that we'll have to do it. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and uh, watching this episode. So if you like the series, if you wanna see more of the Lesser Zelda Skyward Sword HD, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, bring the notification bell so that you'll be staying up there and notified to one of my newest and awesome videos up at the way. So just making sure you guys are staying to one end. And by all means, all these each and every one of these descriptions are filled down below. So if you want to help support the series, you can do so. We've reached on step by step just to help get you on started on supporting my channel and front the series. So that's going to be all it for uh, the Lesson of Zelda Skyward Sword AD. We'll be picking it more on the next one. So take care, you guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video. So take care.